everyone welcome back to another video so i thought today i'd make a video seeing as i've talked talked about my uh adaptive thermogenesis and the fact that i've uh gone down the path of going like all in with the um well with the high carb lifestyle um essentially i used to pretty much eat eat until appetite but then basically i um i obviously got a little bit um too kind of like clean with the eating and uh you know wouldn't allow myself you know clean fuels like sugar and uh you know even like white rice and things like that so um yeah so i i got i got to that and then obviously i um was doing big days on the bike and i wasn't eating enough i was just simply trying to put whole foods in and obviously the stomach can only handle so much fiber so this is where if you're doing big days on the bike or long runs or you know you, you've got a active busy job or, or whatever you know or you've got five kids then you need to kind of get in the calories through you know like um drinking them or i mean 100 grams of sugar is like you know not much bigger than this and it's so easy to just throw in your water bowl and just sip it as you're riding along versus doing it like fasted or whatever you have to ignore my nose i just had a big uh big cold smoothie and it always makes the nose run a little bit so anyway um what i want to say now is i've been doing this since march the 30th i just went bam straight all in eating to my appetite maybe more and uh just literally like I wasn't really trying to restrict before, but I was kind of like so nervous, that like, oh, I'm gaining weight, I'm gaining weight, like, am I eating too much? And, you know, so I was kind of like trying to not restrict too much because I was still eating like 3,000 or so calories, but I was kind of restricting my appetite. So I was never getting fully full. I was just kind of, you know, I mean, you, you get these, these calorie restricting doctors and people, they say, oh, you you should stop eating before you're full, like 80% full and things like that. Like, no, not really if, if you're busy. Like, if you're just chilling and, you know, you, you're one of these, like, hippie types and, you know, you just sort of sit around on a park and you're playing the guitar, then, yeah, you know, whole foods diet, fruit, all that sort of stuff, that's probably going to be fine for you because you're not one of those, like, go-getters who's, like, going out, getting shit done. You know, you just kind of like moping about and just kind of sitting under a tree and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to go out there, get fit, cycle, you know, have a great relationship, you know, make loads of money, things like that. It's not going to happen if, if you just, you know, just simply just eating enough. Like you've got to get to the point where you eat in as much as your body needs and then more for the next day. So then you've got more. So anyway, um, I start this. I'll put some. Uh, I'll put some infos out because I basically not to be like OCD about it, but I've basically been tracking it, the kind of journey of it, just mainly for YouTube and things like that, so I can show. Because I've actually got a body fat scale as well. So you're not just seeing my weight going up, but you're seeing the fat uh, percentage and fat grams going up. So I I will have to hide out, I'll be fully fully transparent about all of that and I'll show you the the whole thing basically of when I started I was around eighty eight kilos. So I'd already gained a little bit, but then of course, um sort of not knowing what was going on, I guess both me and my wife panicked like shit, maybe I'm eating too much, you know, I should uh ease up, you know, maybe I'm binge eating or whatever. So anyway, um so I gained 10 kilos through that and then I kind of started restricting again. So obviously that halted the process and maybe even sent me, you know, back a little bit. And then obviously when I did start going all in, I started at 88 kilos. The body doesn't, does it, it doesn't matter if you go all in and you're 20 kilos overweight or you're 10 kilos underweight, your body is still going to gain fat. So if you, if you've been dieting and you're, 30 kilos overweight right and you've been yo-yo dieting all that time and then suddenly you start refeeding your body's not going to be like oh wait a minute it's 30 kilos we don't need to we don't need to gain any weight no 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 no. 
the 30 kilos extra extra so essentially what it will do is it will still gain that fat it doesn't matter if you're already fat so many the, the reason we see this as well is because many people start in this kind of like all in journey or whatever and they don't they don't really get obese because they were already like 10 15 20 kilos underweight you know so you've got these girls who have been anorexic for two three five years and we mainly see this in girls because either guys don't come out with this or they just continue right we've got so many of these bodybuilder characters who are constantly calorie restricted up and down but they're taking you know hormones steroids things like that so it's not really affecting them too much because hormones is like 90 percent of this it's not just about calories in calories out it's like doing the whole calories in calories out thing eventually is going to smash your hormones and then it's your hormones that are going to make you gain weight it doesn't matter if you eat an 1800 calories and you're a six foot two 200 pound guy you could literally lower your metabolism so much through messing up your hormones and stuff through yo-yo diets and you know essentially starvation that you could end up having a bmr basal metabolic rate your resting metabolism basically of only 1800 calories so then suddenly if you eat 2000 or 2500 which is you know still low in my opinion for a man especially a six foot two 200 pound man as i just used for an example um you're gonna you're gonna end up gaining and it it doesn't matter however if you're taking the steroids um i'm not saying it's not going to make you gains you still might gain I, I don't know i've never taken steroids i don't plan to um but you could still um you could end up not gaining because your hormones aren't going to be smashed because you're constantly taking in those hormones so this is probably why bodybuilding men and they're constantly yo-yo dieting with the cutting the bulking things like that they probably uh get away with it more it's probably once they've stopped taking the steroids they're not like competing anymore and they're just kind of like retired or relaxing or just hit the gym for fun versus competition they think well i don't need to take steroids anymore i probably keep my gains then they blow out right and they just think well it's because i'm getting old now it's because i'm 50 no 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 no, no it's not it's because you've been yo-yo dieting and you, you were probably so used to taking steroids and that's another thing as well um <laughs> you can end up taking them uh so much that you know it literally lowers lowers your testosterone so you either have to ease off them so it eventually stabilizes out or whatever but anyway this whole another video basically my point was we haven't really seen this with men much uh because of those reasons like the fitness men and stuff they're they're doing it differently whereas typically the fitness girls that you see aren't necessarily taking drugs um, especially steroids. I mean, you you you'll know the girls that are taking steroids. You see, because they'll look like guys. Like if you go like this and hide the head, and you'll be like, well, "That's a guy with a bra, <laughs> right?" Um, because they're basically taking the same same um, hormones as transgender uh, people take. So uh, a woman who's is it a woman? Yeah, a woman who's going to be a man which I don't think you see that often, do you? It's normally the other way around. But a woman that's going into a man, they'll be taking the same hormones and steroids, basically, that these female bodybuilders are taking. And they get that same look. Obviously, they're not working out there because obviously, if a guy is going in... in if a girl is... Oh, this whole thing's confusing. But anyway, you, you, get, you get my point. So essentially what I was saying is um that's obviously why um you know i started i started gaining um because i had low met metabolism through you know all of what i did and anyway basically i started the journey in um of, of going all in in march the 30th uh well i might as well say the date march the 30th 2020 uh, i even marked in my calendar um just for reference as well so then in the first couple of weeks I um you know I was just all in and I was pretty much weighing every day as well um just just to see our curiosity and I was some days I was gaining I I think this is right I can even look on the app now as I'm speaking 
just let me uh, let me pause here. Yeah, so I'm just looking at the app now. I'll put it on the screen anyway. Um, basically, I've I've gone from like so March the 30th, I was 88.8, eight, and then March the 31st, 89.4. Obviously, that could be just a fluctuation, and then the next day the same weight. The next day a little bit lower, 89.2, but still obviously more than 88.8. Eight. The next day, 89.8. The next day. 90.4 right and the body fat's gaining as well it's not just like oh water right the next day 91.1 right now i wasn't consuming an insane amount of calories i mean people with this whole calories in calories out mentality they're all like oh um 3500 calories is is one pound of fat basically right and then they say that oh if you eat three that if you if you cut 3500 calories you'll lose one pound of fat right now i certainly wasn't eating 3500 calories extra per day so maybe i was like eating 3000 high 2000s or whatever um, maybe low low to mid 3000s and then when I started this I was probably maximum eating 5000 and that was me smashing it in I was just like eating like 500 grams of pasta 600 grams of dry rice things like that for dinner and I was having like pancakes for lunch and I was I was usually still having fruit for breakfast though so I was having like uh i'd even because i was loving the mangoes at that time so i was probably eating like two three kilos of mango flesh or i was having about five kilos of watermelon or something like that so i was packing it in basically um but obviously the breakfast wasn't super calorific it was probably a thousand to if i had the mangoes maybe 1500 calories and then i was just kind of increasing it as the day went on so then lunch would be then about 2000 calories and dinner would be about 2000 so all in all i was eating about 5000 to 6000 calories which isn't 3500 calories extra it's maybe 2000 or something like that and yet my body because it was in this um you know post post starvation um how what did they call it hyperphagia or whatever it, i had the appetite so i ate so much and then um essentially my body was just piling it all in it was just saying oh we've had some extra let's let's store it you know so that was what was happening and i was gaining the weight so quick and uh, if i go to fast forward to june the 21st i was 102 and ever since then i haven't i haven't been waning like daily or even weekly i've been waning every couple of weeks and uh i weigh in july the 14th i was 104 but i think that was a fluctuation uh july the 18th 102 july the 20th 102 july the 22nd 102 so that was a few days ago now that i weighed in and uh, still 102. So I, I meant to weigh myself this morning, actually, but I haven't. So uh, I've actually given up salt for a few days as well, because um, my uh, my wife was saying to me that I'm too too adapted to salt and uh, on the taste buds, and it's like I can't eat anything unless it's super salty. So I'm just trying to kind of like reset the palate a little bit. Just just I'm not trying to lose weight through not eating salt or something. I'm just trying to like reset the palate a little bit. So I haven't had salt for two days now. So I don't know if that'll affect the the actual weight on the scales i'm not talking about body fat but yeah so essentially i've now plateaued for over uh what did i say 20 june june the 21st i was 102 and like i said i'm basically 102 now so that's a month and a half or some a, a month and a week a month and a half something like that. this video's today is the 31st so um yeah, so basically I've just been plateauing. Obviously, there's a couple of fluctuations, you know, maybe a bit of excess water or, you know, a bit of excess food in the colon, whatever. But basically the fat percentage and the actual weight is relatively the same. So really, I've now plateaued and yet I'm still eating unlimited calories. Uh, by unlimited, I don't mean like, um, cr you know big pile and i'm just cramming it in every single meal what i mean by that is typically i will make a meal usually more than my appetite and i will just eat as much as i like and uh, i'm not in the mindset of you know oh i've got to eat what's on my plate or 
I've got to eat more than what's on my plate. So essentially I'll have a pot, the instant pot, and I'll just make like a huge batch of pasta, like five, 500 grams, whatever. And if I eat it, I eat it. If I don't, I don't, you know, I just literally push the food away when I'm like, oh, yesterday I made myself a kind of like cheesy pasta using nutritional yeast and some, uh, some home, homemade homemade yogurt that I'd made, uh, just using oat milk basically, which was homemade oat milk as well. So I basically um, used that, added that in for creaminess, added the nutritional yeast in, uh, added what else did I add? Um, didn't like I said, didn't add any salt. Um, added some veg in, added a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of mustard powder, uh, just pure mustard powder, there's no salt or anything. Uh, and it stirred that and it was really nice and oh the potatoes obviously i put some uh kind of like mashed potato in for kind of like a creamy creamy sauce texture had that about it was about 350 grams of pasta and about two no about 500 grams of potatoes and literally i got got to my last plate i had two full plates of two full plates of it and i got to my last plate and it was half full the plate was and I just literally came to take my last spoonful and I ugh, and just just pushed it away get it away from me so literally I eat every meal until I'm pushing it away like oh I'm, I'm sick of this food right that's exactly how I eat and especially at the dinner meal um so yeah the the smoothie I usually make a smoothie in the morning um and well, I say a smoothie. I make two smoothies because I have a quite just a tiny little Vitamix jug. Uh, it was about two hundred dollars cheaper, so fig figure I could just make two versus um, versus one. So usually I have a um, I have like a uh, what do I have? I have like a berry one. So I have about four hundred grams of bananas. Sometimes depending on how I feel or what I've done or what I'm going to do, I'll put in fifty grams of sugar uh this is just part of the smoothie and then i'll put like 200 grams of berries in it or 200 grams of some sort of frozen fruit basically that would be one smoothie and then the other smoothie i normally put kind of like a powder in it so uh essentially what i do is i do 600 grams of banana 300 frozen 300 fresh um and then what i'll do is i'll add in maybe some I actually really like making a kind of like latte style so i add in some decaf coffee um and i put in the past few days i've been putting in some of that um some of that homemade yogurt that i made for like creaminess and it's exactly it reminds me exactly like one of those kind of lattes that you get from like starbucks or whatever back in the day which i've probably only ever tried once anyway because it's too expensive but it proper reminds me of one of them and i've got like a whole liter of it uh it's really nice and oh i do uh carob powder or maca powder the maca powder is kind of like a salted caramel kind of like big yogurt almost and then the um and carapala is obviously like cocoa it's kind of like chocolate so i do that as well um sometimes i do cocoa powder as well but i try not to do too much of that um but yeah it's basically uh so i have that I basically drink all that in the morning and then my stomach's like oof. and then lunchtime comes probably about three hours later uh sometimes i have like i've had like beans on toast things like that um, or sometimes I just make two more smoothies um, and then for, for dinner I'm having like potatoes, veg, sometimes beans or just more potatoes and then just veg basically. Um, I really do like the rice. I, I really do just like doing like the one pot meals in the instant pot. So I just like throwing in the rice, the lentils, the pasta, the lentils or pasta beans whatever and then just throwing some kind of like tomato sauce or whatever, some veg and then just on and then you know 30 minutes later it's like bam the meal's ready so i've been been eating a lot like that recently like i said i'm just eating to my appetite i'm i'm not suddenly like oh i've i've stopped gaining so i'm in restriction phase i'm still eating unlimited calories and by unlimited like i said before i mean just just as much as you want so if you're a four foot eight you know 15 year 12 year old girl 15 year old girl whatever and you only feel like eating 1800 calories, but every meal you're you're pushing it away, then yeah, that's fine. That's that's how much you need. Whereas if you're a six foot five um triathlete man, you know, who's two hundred pounds, <laughs> then you're probably not gonna be settling for maybe six thousand 
less than six hours and so you're going to be probably eating a, a kilo of pasta or something right so yeah so buy unlimited calories that's essentially what i mean unlimited for you it's like a personal thing so um yeah i'm still eating unlimited calories i've now stopped gaining weight a lot of people with the whole calories in calories out mindset uh you know saying oh yeah you know you're just gonna gain and get fat and you know and then there's always the kind of thing at the back of your mind thinking shit what if i don't stop gaining weight like i i mean i i thought this too much i tried to shift it away from my head but of course there's the whole <clears throat> what if i'm different what if mine isn't post-starvation obesity what if i've just got like a thyroid issue or whatever right so anyway i'm i was super as soon as i realized that i'd stopped gaining weight i was super happy because i gained 25 kilos like wow um i honestly didn't expect to gain that much i thought maybe i'd gain 10 uh, and then when i gained 10 within a month i was like mm, maybe i'm gonna gain 15 and i gained 15 i was like maybe i'm gonna gain 20 and then bam i gained 25 so just just like me my i guess my body is fucking extreme as well he's not going to gain a few kilos it's like bam straight away 25 so um yeah within about two march so april may june so about three months i gained 25 kilos like there's no way i was eating that excess calories daily like all these people with the whole calories in calories out thing and oh 3500 calories is one pound of fat there was no way that i was eating an extra 3500 calories most days like yeah it just doesn't make sense and i actually calculated this before when i'd gained that other 10 kilos and i calculated i was like well what was i eating and i was like there's no way i was eating that much and i gained about 10 kilos within a month basically the month going to spain back in august september time uh, no september october time sorry um i'd gained like 10 kilos and my wife saying to me um oh you, you're looking a bit bigger and i'm like of course i don't notice these things and i'm thinking well, oh shit yeah well my clothes are a bit snug you know i'm seeing boobies again like what's going on um so then step on the scales and i'm like oh shit i'm horrified it's like 90 i'm like what how have i gained this much so so quick so um yeah, so that's obviously the long, long story, basically, of how. Um, but yeah, I'm not gaining weight anymore, gaining fat anymore. Let's say at least um, things seem to have stabilised. So we've seen Stephanie Bottomore, her story. Uh, if you've seen that, take take a look. She's got some good information there, and she's got some good science behind it as well. She's even talking to. Uh, I'm not necessarily promoting her or promoting her way of eating or something, but certainly for this this one thing. And you have to remember as well is she's done it the unhealthy way you know i know i've actually gained more weight than her believe it or not but she's actually done it the unhealthy way she was smashing in like ben and jerry's and pizza and donuts and god knows what right um and she gained i think she gained 40 pounds 20 20 ish kilos right so 18 kilos i think um so yeah basically um she did it like i said the unhealthy way and she continued gaining for about nine months. And some days she was eating 10,000 calories. Like, I could never eat that. Um, so, yeah, basically she she did it. And she, like I said, she did it in a healthy way. And I think it was either a year or nine months she continued gaining for. And then she plateaued. And then if you see her videos now, she's looking a lot slimmer. She's still not fully slim. Um, but she's got that kind of like curvy look. She still looks healthy, but kind of like curvy. So, um she's basically gone through that and she wasn't even eating super healthy she was but now she's still listening to her appetite and she's eating the kind of like standard whole foods you know where they, they have like the chicken and the vegetables and the potatoes kind of thing so she's eating that way now and um i think she's still eating about 2500 plus calories or something um so yes so basically she's came through at the other end i'm saying now i plateaued after three months because obviously i wasn't doing bikini competitions for five ten years or whatever like she was um so i've obviously healed a lot quicker so hopefully uh within the next three months you know the scale will start tipping and i'll start going down right so that's exactly what i'm hoping um so i, I will obviously keep you updated anyway on all the info and uh hopefully i'll uh, get some credibility back once i've uh, lost the weight again and uh, i'll be like yeah i've lost weight twice now so you know i must know what i'm talking about um so yeah and hopefully you can uh take take me more seriously <laughs>
and not be like, oh yeah, he's, he's gained weight, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, this is my video, just being honest. Like I said, I'll put some of the information up for you, uh, screenshots from my from my phone. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, everyone.